Hello, and welcome to my show. Hi, we thought we would give you a gallery tour for those of you joining us online tonight. Um, welcome to Regalia. This is a show dedicated to cats and all of their fanciful feline personalities. So I thought I would take you through the pieces, um, kind of give, consider this a private tour. Um, we opted for this versus a live just because of how many people will be here and the noise and things like that. So you get a nice uh, quiet tour. Um, we'll start with this. This one is called Mine. It is a 16 by 30 inch graphite on a watercolor board. And this is actually Jerry. And I was inspired by one of my good friends who had this picture and I added the Queen's Pearls. So we've got a little bit of royalty going on with this show. And that was inspiration for that. And then we've got three small, um, what I call shrinky dinks, but they're actually polystyrene is the technical term for a shrinky dink. The shrinky dink is just a brand name. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun with art projects here. Um, and we've got uh, a few familiar faces. So wall number one. Hello again. <laughs> we've moved to another wall. So we've got Precious Penny here. This is an eight by 10 uh, watercolor on mounted watercolor paper on a cradle panel or wood panel. I'm not gonna bore y'all too much with all the details. Um, we'll have some pan ins, but with this, I'll try to get a shot to show the shimmery watercolor paint that I use. It's really fun, adds a little detail. I kind of wish y'all were here to see them in person just to get some of those embellishments um, in person, but that's okay. We're gonna do our best to showcase what we've got. So we've got her, and then over here, we've got, um, one of my friends had a cat that was stretching and I thought it was really cute as if it were trying to grab onto some jewels falling. We've got uh, Ranger's Reach with the cute little paw and I've added some metallic leafing to the back with some geometric shapes that I thought were really cool. And then we have Morven the Mindful and this is probably uh, maybe second, third of my favorites that I've done um, with some pin work in the back and then we've got some metallic foiling going on and this is watercolor and I've mounted the paper onto a wooden panel by Trickle. My favorite place I like to order uh, my substrates that I paint on, so check them out. Choo -choo. All right, so we've got uh, three kind of unique pieces here. They're all digitally rendered, drawn, painted. I know some people that do digital art consider it painting. So uh, did these on Procreate and had them printed. They're glaches, so they're on archival watercolor paper, and I've hand embellished the accents in the back of each one. So these are maybe my favorite. They're all my favorites, so just... Just go with it. So I wanted to mention quickly, these two are Binks. Um, I've gotten to know uh, the owner pretty well via Instagram. So I just wanted to do a little shout out to Binks here for being such a great model with this inspiration of the leaves. And that's really what got me going on this show to begin with, apart from the first graphite that I showed you. But anyway, this was one of the first pieces that I was inspired to do and with the color palettes and all. So. We're on to the next wall. We've got a special piece right here. This one is called Hold On, and the colors in it are the Ukrainian flag. So I did this piece. I have prints available here for the night of. I'm not sure that I'll offer those online unless there's enough uh, interest in it, but the proceeds from this one are going to go towards, um, I have cousins who are missionaries in Kiev, Ukraine, and they've been this place because of everything happening. So the proceeds for this one um, will go towards their mission. So that's kind of a, an extra special piece. It looks a little different than the flow of the rest of the show, but I knew I needed to add that one here. So we've got Sir Sheldon. I love this cat. This cat is amazing. I've never met this cat. One of my friends, uh, lovely friends, allowed me to paint him because she had lots of pictures, but these cats just have the coolest features to them. So Sheldon's featured in all three of these. These two are the polystyrene with a watercolor background and then a silk screen um, print that I did behind that one. So kind of some different things going on there. All right, 
so on this wall we've got uh, Percy, who is featured in both of these paintings. This is gouache on watercolor paper with metallic leafing. I really had some fun finding different leafings for these pieces. We've got Percy's Perch and Percy's Platitude. I had fun with those names. Um, another favorite, spoiler alert, they're kind of all my favorite. Uh, there's actually a few that are my favorite, but that's okay. An artist's, that's an artist's journey. So I have a friend who, this is Marley, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, Cat uh, looking up and I figured, hey, Cat needs to be looking at something and I'm loving this leaf pattern that I kind of discovered. And so I thought I would play with composition, color, and then I had a little too much fun with the frame job because it is part of the artwork, so. Yay. All right, onto this wall here. We've got two similar pieces on either side, compositionally speaking, and they are watercolor on watercolor board with gouache ink um, accents as well with the leaving. Okay, so these four are also panels that I ordered from Treckle. They're wooden panels and I've mounted watercolor paper to all four of these kind of different styles. I wanted to play with something a little different with the birds and I added little tiny uh, metallic crowns to them. And then these two, I just loved the eyes and the fur, so I went after that. And of course the floral because I love floral. If you haven't guessed yet. So we've got this one is called Starstruck. I love this pose. It's one of the few first ones I did start with. It is watercolor uh, paper with gouache. I use mainly gouache on this one and then metallic leafing for the accents. Uh, we've got Lady Lucy here, the lovely Lucy Lou. Um, she had really sweet eyes. So I pulled this one in did a little bit of geometric shapes. Just having a little more fun than I typically do with a pet portrait just with a plain background. I wanted to really jazz it up for this show. Okay, so this is uh, this title is Little Stuff, but this cat's name is actually Oreo Little Stuff because of the little little white patch on its chest, like a little stuffy in Oreo. It's very cute. Anyway, I thought I would challenge myself compositionally again with something a little different. And again, this is, a, this is acrylic and oil on a wooden panel from Trickle. And we're moving on, we're moving on. <laughs> All right, so we've got another three panels from Trickle. Uh, I really like this company. They are acrylic, though, on these panels. Strictly acrylic. I used an acrylic pen to do the uh, etch work around each cat. So these were a lot of fun to do. I, I do like to bust out the acrylics every now and then and not just do watercolor. And I named these um, in French after the colors of the panels, so that's really fun. Um, we've got canvas. Uh, with metallic leafing, some variegated leafing, you can find, I may include a link for y'all to order from the Etsy shop that I found these from because these are just really cool leafing products. And um, gouache on canvas. I don't know if I'm breaking any rules, but I did it, so there. All right, and then we've got the ketone. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, my good friend, Vicky Lou. Let me introduce you to Vicky Lou. She paints pet portraits every day, my dude. She's awesome. She's on Instagram. So this is her cat, a ketone, and I wanted to include some geometric shapes with my kind of signature floral line work as well as some of that metallic uh, watercolors that I've actually been using from Viviva uh, color sheets. They're metallic and they're amazing. Moving on. All right, so we're gonna keep going on this wall. We've got Lucy Lou. This is a kitten version of Lady Lucy over uh, that we showed earlier. Same kind of concept. We've got geometric shapes. I used um, some gel pen for some of those really finite details. So it might give you some ideas if you ever want to explore and try new things. Um, again, some of that metallic watercolor paint from Viviva. And then we've got Nuage. It's French for cloud. That's what I decided to name this one. This is actually my sister's cat. It's a really sweet cat. It's got a little white mustache. So same concept with the it's watercolor, uh, gouache, and ink on watercolor paper. So, and then we've got Le Monte or Le Mont, I believe it's called the Watch in French. I'm not sure why I got onto a French kick apart from royalty and different places that have those types of things. I just it just seems to fit. So again, same kind of concept: watercolor paper, gouache, watercolor, metallic watercolors. Um, and then the main part is watercolor with the ink accents. So 
you can do, a, they're very versatile. This, this, this trend here is very versatile for different styles, so. A big thank you to Smack in downtown Hollister, Missouri for allowing me to have a solo show here. We are a nonprofit organization. I am on the board. I'm the gallery coordinator and 30% of the sales do go back to Smack to continue our endeavors for the community and the arts in the community. So thank you so much for those that are supporting our cause. Okay, with that, we've gone through the entire gallery. I hope you enjoyed your private tour as it was. This is happening right now while I'm at the gallery. So, did I talk trouble? I, it's possible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. With that, thank you so much for joining me and y'all have a great evening.